welcome. Today I'm going to be doing some banding, which is an easy way to decorate your different plates and flat pieces. You can also do bowls, um, usually done on dinnerware and things that you use that you decorate your kitchen with. So what we're going to do today is we're, we've just got a small plate here and as usual, the first thing we do is I have wiped off the back of it, the first top of it. I'm going to wipe off all the dust so there's no dust on it. Let's just make sure we have good product. When you use your banding wheel, you want to make sure it's centered. I'm fortunate on this banding wheel that I have lines on it that gives me a guide. But another way of doing it is to put one finger on the banding wheel and the other one on the plate. And as it goes around, you can feel if there's any variation of where it sits and you can see it in your finger because your finger will move that in and out so now that i have it centered I've got two different colors we're going to do a variation so that it gives you a little bit of an ombre look which seems to be very popular today so we've got a dark purple and then we have a light purple we're using a natural bristle brush that holds lots of product because as we're turning it it's losing it and so we're going to take our brush and thin this down and it's going to take quite a bit of water so that it's nice and thin and it goes a, goes a lot easier if you try to do it when it's heavy and thick it won't it won't move and you won't have a good product so now I've got my brush loaded and if you notice that brush is really bulbous. It's very full of paint and so I'm going to start my plate to turning. Important that you start it turning before you touch it. So you're going to go like this and keep going until you feel a slight tug. At that point in time you go back and you reload your your brush with your paint making sure you have plenty I never stop my wheel the wheel I have is very well balanced so that I don't have to worry about it not going easily and I just with my fingers walk it around a lot of times you see this kind of a technique used in in commercial wear especially things that come from Italy. This is one of their techniques that they love to do. And as you notice, each time I'm doing this, I'm going a little further into the plate. And what I'm doing is the, the rim of it in the darker color. So I'm gonna get this darker color on there. You also wanna make sure that you can keep your butt hand steady. Okay. So I've got a pretty good coverage. So now I'm going to wash my brush. It's be good. I'm going to go to the lighter color. Now this one, we're going to go the opposite direction so that it blends the two of them together. So I need to get this thin down so I can load my brush. You start on the thinner part of it and work your way up into the darker color. The reason you start your wheel before you attach the paint to it is if you're not careful, you will have stop and start marks 
on your banding. That's from not having the wheel turning when you're pressing in your color. So you want to make sure you have it going and don't let it stop until you are completely done with your color. And you can see I'm overlapping the two of them. That's because that's where I want the ombre look so that it has a nice blending of the two colors. Okay. So now I have two colors on there. These are under glazes that I will then go and actually glaze it and fire it. I can do decoration on it. I can do brush strokes. I can do uh, different kinds of designs on it so that it, it looks really kind of professionally done. Okay. Now what I'm going to do now, just to add a little bit of interest to it, is I have a much smaller brush. I want to show you how to make a line, similar to the line going around here. But I'm using the darker purple so that I can come and I'm holding it straight up and down. And by doing having it centered, you'll notice that that line just goes right around. You can make circles. I've made pieces that have had just circles on them. So you can do that with this. When you get done with it, then you have a really nice plate. So you see we have a striped plate, basically. And then I'm going to do something in the center with it before I glaze it and I fire it. And I, there you have your plate ready to decorate and glaze and fire. And clean your brushes and clean up your area and you're done. Thank you. We'd like to encourage you if you look at, at our videos and things, if you like them, tell us about it. If you want to share it, we'd love to have you share it. You can also join our YouTube. So just come in, take a look. We try to have things that are interesting and different. If you ever have any suggestions of what you might want to see, just email us, let us know. And thank you.